Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Playdate, and today I am going to be making this card for you. I love how soft this card is. Everything is soft about it, from the water coloring here, to the light sponging, to this really very dainty ribbon that we have here. It's like a seam binding, only crinkly. I love it. It is just so feminine. All right, so gonna make this today, and I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers on techniques here, uh, but I'm also going to show you this paper because it's pretty fabulous. I'm trying to use some of my designer series paper up that I love. Um, as I have explained in another video, I'm also a quilter and we buy fabric and then we think it's gorgeous and we never want to cut it. And I have found that that's a very real uh, problem among my crafting friends. We all do that with our papers too, but I'm, I'm going to start helping you bust through your stash of all of these papers that you've been hoarding this whole year, it's time to break them out and start playing with them. If you didn't get a hold of this paper this year, you need to quick get it before it's gone. It will be retiring. So I'm going to show you some sides, some different sides of this paper. Now this paper was actually watercolored by a Stampin' Up! Um, artist who then they make the, then they blow it up and make it big and put it, make a whole paper out of it, a whole 12 by 12 double-sided sheets. Um, for you. So you get the benefit of real honest to goodness artists sitting with the paintbrush making this paper for you. And some of these colors are going to stay, some are going. There is a die set that goes with this suite that's in our current catalog that will be carrying over, but the paper will be gone. Okay, so get the paper while you can. The die set actually has this shape, this gem, and it would be the cutest card to do. You're a gem. So sweet. All right, so stripes you can use for anything, but look how feminine that is. I just love it, and it's going to go so well with the lemon-lime twist. Look at this together. So fun, right? Um, how do I know that it's going to go with lemon-lime twist? Well, I can tell what color that is, but also I can look right here on the back and see all the different colors that are used in this paper, and that's how I'm going to pick my paper. So... Today, the card that I'm going to make with you, not for you, but with you, right, because you're crafting too, is using Peekaboo Peach. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, so someone asked me, this is funny, someone asked me, why don't you score your card bases, like with your scoring tool or with your trimmer, and I have to tell you, I'm just not very good at it. I'm just not very good at it. I never do it straight. That way is far easier for me. We're also going to use Whisper White, and I will list the sizes below, but before I glue that, I want to get started on my panel, because remember, I'm a big panel girl. Um, we're going to use some of that naturally eclectic paper, and this piece right here is three by five and a quarter. It's the same length as this panel, but it's narrower, just so that we can see the white along the side to give it a little context, and I can go ahead and glue this on, but I want to make sure I don't glue that on, because, yeah, ask me how I know. We are going to be attaching a ribbon, and I do not want to have the ribbon show on the inside of the card. I just don't like that. I know it's a thing. Some people do it. I know. I just, myself, I don't love that. Okay, so this is this piece ready to go. I'm going to do this piece, the bow, and dunzo. All right, for this piece here, this is going to be a little embossed piece. Um, it is just an inch and it's not really even an inch look at this it's not even an inch and a half it's an inch and three eighths um, the reason that it needs to be this this uh, this size is I want it to fit here I'm gonna trim off these edges how do I make those decorative edges I use this punch this punch right here allows me to cut this edge but I don't want to cut it all the way through like I normally would because you know I need it to be this long so the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to feed my paper in through the back here. And if I make it one and a half, it fits, but it just barely fits and it takes forever for me to get angled. So I'm going to turn my punch just till I can just see the paper there. See it poking through and squeeze. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to warn you, one side always goes in a whole lot easier than the other side. I don't know. Oh. Both of them went in pretty easily. I don't know why that is. So if you have trouble with the second side, don't worry. It's always like that. Okay, I'm going to do it till I can see it here on my punch. Squeeze, and there is my spot for my celebrate. Okay, 
Now I need to get the Celebrate in there. The Celebrate is an embossing folder. It comes in a set of two embossing folders. This one says Celebrate, and the other one says something else. I can't remember. It's a duo of folders. Um, <laughs> I'll list it here for you, but anyway, there are two words. And I really wanted this one because we're doing a birthday card class, and I wanted to show we're actually gonna be using the reverse, right? So, this, when I say reverse, this side is the raised side. This side is the inside. So this would, if I put it like this, it's going to deboss the paper. It's going to push the word celebrate in almost like a um, letterpress. Have you ever seen that letterpress printing? It's kind of like that. So I'm going to center this in here a little bit. How does that look? look pretty good to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run this through and we'll see what it looks like. Modern video. I didn't really leave, did I? But I did one for you so I could show you. So you can see it's actually debossed. It's pressed in the word celebrate. If I flip it over, this would be embossed. This is what you're usually used to, but ah, it's backwards. It's supposed to be debossed. So tons of fun to try a different technique like this. Now let's do the inking. All right, so this is the Peekaboo Peach Ink. I'm going to squeeze, squeeze. Remember the squeeze, squeeze? And it gives me a palette right here. And I'm going to sit down so that I can do this, so that maybe my head won't be in the way. I want this whole thing to be colored, okay? And I'm just gonna rub along. Maybe I want my edges to have a little more color than the rest so that it really stands out from the edge of the paper. I'm going to go in circles. If you get some down into the debossed area there, it's still going to look like it says celebrate. You can see here, I actually do have a little bit of ink inside there, and that's really going to be okay. It's not going to be a problem. Let's keep going. So this is almost like, like getting a resist, right? It's, it's resisting going into the celebrate word so you're really going to be able to read it. If I just did this straight away on a piece of peekaboo peach paper, you would be able to see that celebrate, but it would be a hard harder to see and um, it wouldn't be quite so soft. So watercolor e seems to be a word lately that I'm using quite a bit. Okay. So there is my celebrate. You can see that did not take any time at all. It was super speedy. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, set this aside for now and let's tie this ribbon on. Okay, so the way that I tied my ribbon on, now I almost never wrap my ribbon around the back. I hate to do that because I just, I just despise waste, but um, I did do it this time because I want this to be a softer bow in front. Sometimes I can tie a bow and I just have the ears and I have no legs because I wrap the legs around. You guys who watch my videos know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna run a little snail around the back of my card there. And that way I can stick my ribbon on it. It's gonna hold it in place for me while I tie my bow so that it's not sliding around because this ribbon is slippery. It's slippery. It's little like little satin sheets, silk sheets, just slides around. All right, so. I'm going to do this so that it looks like a package and I'm going to make a loop on my thumb. This is like floating ballerina. Seriously, it is so soft and it does not have a lot of body like a grow grain ribbon would. Um, so you kind of have to play with it and that's okay. It's more forgiving too than a grow grain because of that. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this. All right, now to adjust. That's the beauty of the snail on the back. To adjust this bow now, um, I'm just gonna pull tight and then I'm gonna hold my knot in place and I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna kind of back it out. See that? Backing out my bow. And now I can pull this again until it's, it's nice. Now, if you get this too loose and it's like sliding around on your, this part right here, you know, I'm going to make that a little tiny bit smaller and then I'm going to cut it off so I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 angle. 
Well, that didn't work. All right, let's angle this one. <laughs> Not normally two cuts, but okay, that'll work. All right, so here you can finic be finicky with your bow. That's fine. It works just as well. Um, but if, you, if this part slipped around a little bit and is too loose here when you got your bow tied, hold your knot and just pull until you get it tighter. If you still can't get it tight enough and you're thinking this is just not gonna work, just go around the back of your card, pick up the edge here, fold it against your, against your tape and stick it down again and it will tighten that, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? You haven't lost anything by doing that. Nobody is gonna be able to tell. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here Look at this, we are almost done with this card. So this is not even a 10 minute card. It's a 10 minute lesson, but it's only because I also told you about the paper and all the other stuff. It really is not gonna take you that long. And mind you, when you're cutting, just remember you, when you cut, we'll be using a little glue eraser on there. When you cut a piece of cardstock to make a card, let's do this so you can see what I'm talking about. This is one eight and a half by 11, right? Cut in half. Okay, and I'm gonna cut from a piece of white, I can get four of these panels out of one eight and a half by 11 with a little bit of leftover like this. Um, so I could actually do one on the outside, a panel on the inside of white of two cards. I could make two cards from just a piece of the um, white and a piece of the peekaboo peach. So when you make one card, it's beautiful, make two, because you're going to need it sooner or later, I promise you. All right, I'm going to add some dimensionals to this little watercolor work of art here that I've got going on. And I'm going to use more than I probably need, only because why, guys? I don't like a saggy bottom. Nobody wants a saggy bottom. Make sure that you get over to the edge. If you're... Um, word is too close in one of the little spots don't worry about it you could use a small dimensional or you could just trim that down with your scissors all right and i'm going to peel those off you should see my floor littered with these and then the stairs in my house from when i march out of my studio to march to go get more coffee seriously my stairs are covered with dimensional papers okay and let's put that right there. Look good to you. There you go. We're all set. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, you can find all of the items that you need in the sizes listed here. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. If you don't have a copy of the new catalog, I would like to get that to you too. Just send me a note or leave a comment here. That's fine. Um, some of these things are retiring, so you do want to get in on getting these before they're gone. And uh, you can do that right through my website. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll come again soon. Please hit subscribe. Thank you.